welcome to nine patch along block number five. This design is so much fun to quilt. It's actually going to be a little bit looser quilting than what I generally do. So feel free to go ahead and stitch it out just like I'm going to, or you can dress it up even more. I'd love to see it if you dress it up even more, or if you stitch it just like I do. In the meantime though, let's get stitching. Nine patch number five. I love this block. I'm actually going to combine a couple of different block designs. The flourishing block, we're going to make it big, and we're also going to use the melon block as my center block. I love the look of stitch in the ditch, so I'm going to start out my design by stitching in the ditch all the way around the outside. After that, I'm going to start stitching in my upper left corner. I'll stitch an angular curved line across that block using the largest curve on my mini four-in-one machine quilting ruler. When I get to that opposite point, I'll adjust my ruler and now through that center green block across the top, I am going to stitch an X using the ditch along the top of my block as my traveling stitch. Once I have my X complete, now I'm going to adjust my ruler and use that largest curve on the mini four in one and stitch a point to point curved line up to the opposite corner and then back to where I started. From that point in my green block, now I'm going to travel down and stitch an X like we did in that first block using my ditch as my place to travel from point to point. After that X is complete, now I'm going to move down to the bottom corner where I'll repeat the process that I stitched in the upper corner using the largest curve on my machine quilting ruler to stitch point to point curved melon shape. Always remember, curves can be a little bit more tricky when stitching point to point. You want to make sure your ruler is lined up so it's a quarter of an inch away from where you want your thread to intersect. I'm going to repeat that process in that green section. I'll stitch the X through the center of the block and then moving on to that next blue block, I'm again going to stitch that melon point to point curved line design. From there, I'm moving up to the next green block where I'll stitch one more of those X's. Now through my center block, I'm again going to stitch that point to point melon design. So from the corner, across the block to the opposite corner, back to where I started. Now I'll travel across the ditch and I'm going to repeat that process again, stitching a curved point to point line across my block to the opposite corner, adjust my ruler and stitch right back to where I started. From there, I'm going to travel back along my ditch. You could stitch in the ditch around the outside of the block at that point. And I'm going to complete that final melon shape in my first block. Now I wanted to stitch that line between my blocks, my stitch in the ditch line as a continuous line design. So after my stitching is all complete, then I'm going to come back through and stitch in the ditch a couple of straight lines, horizontal and vertical, to complete this design. This design is definitely a little bit more simplistic, not as heavy quilting as I often do. If you want, you could now go through and dress up this design with more fills and really add a lot to it, or keep it simple. It's beautiful as is. I can't wait for block number six. Have a great day, everybody.